Here's why I think Obama is gay. I think he's gay when there was a letter he sent to his ex-girlfriend that was leaked. And within that letter, in one of the lines, it says, I make love to men daily in my imagination. When some people heard that, they said, well, he was 21. Kids that's 21 don't be thinking straight. No straight man would write a letter to someone else and say, I've thought about having sex with men daily. No straight man in a history of history would write that. And it makes sense because a lot of black people was complaining, yo, this man ain't do shit for us. This man ain't do shit for us. Yeah, it makes sense because he wasn't running for us. So apparently, Barack Obama is gay. Now, I've been watching a lot of videos about what the Democrats think and what the Republicans think. Most Democrats, they're leaning on the side of arguing that he's not gay or he can't be gay. These are just rumors. It's complete and denial. And most Republicans on the other side of the spectrum, they're like, well, we don't care if he's gay. Why does it matter? So on one side, I'm hearing he's not gay. And on one side, I'm hearing it doesn't matter. Now, I need to be clear when I say this. If Barack Obama is gay, which I think he is, it matters. It matters a lot, especially for black people. Every person that's watching this video right now needs to listen closely. I'm gonna explain to you why I think it matter if Barack Obama is gay. But before I get into that, we have to watch the Tucker Carlson video just to get context of what that guy was talking about. Now, the guy that I'm about to bring up, I don't have an opinion on his story because there's no way to fact check anything and there's no resources that can verify the way he's saying. So I don't have an opinion on what he's saying because I wasn't there. I can't verify it, but it is interesting. So we're going to react to that first and then I'm going to tell you guys why Barack Obama being gay is huge. Let's get straight to it. Uh, where did you meet Barack Obama? Uh, it was by accident. I was in the Chicago area in 99 for Lee Duke's graduation from the Naval Academy. So you're just a guy who's in town for the night, and it sounds like you're looking to party, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you're really saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was in town for a few nights, but yeah, I was definitely looking to party. So he knew Barack Obama. And in his view, Barack Obama liked the same kind of partying you were looking for. Yeah. Okay. So sex and drugs, in other words. And the sex part I wasn't so sure about until, of course, you know, you, you make your move. But it became obvious very quick. Um, the coke part I thought was interesting because of the way that I had brought it up. So I'm stepping on your story. So you pull up, and I apologize. So you pull up to this bar. The driver is basically scouting some dude for you to hang out with. Correct. There's this guy, Barack Obama. Have you ever heard of Barack Obama? Never. Okay. Never. Um, we're having drinks. I mentioned the fact that I could use something to wake up. I was extremely exhausted. So you're exhausted and you and your driver is out scouting the area for men? I don't believe that. So you went into the bar? <coughs> yes, sir. What kind of bar was it? I've been trying to remember the name. I know that the glasses had three X's on them. Uh -huh. uh, because I remember taking one home uh, for a friend of mine. What, but I mean, generally characterized it was it, it was uh, it working was class up, bar, no, gay bar, strip scale. bar. It was upscale, quiet. Wasn't really that. Uh, that really didn't have a lot of energy to it. It was yep. more relaxed, more like a lounge as opposed to somewhere where people would go and get loud and crazy. Yeah. Um, which made it easier to talk. Um, but like I said, when I brought up the fact that I could do something to wake up, um, he immediately knew what I was referring to, uh, had made it clear that I was looking for Coke and I really was and had made the suggestion that he knew where we could get it and we left to go get it. Now, to clarify, Barack Obama did say, don't quote me on this, but Barack Obama did say that when he was younger, he did test out substances like marijuana i don't think he ever mentioned coke but he did mention that he used to do substances when he was younger just to test out not saying that this directly correlates with what he's saying but just for you guys to understand did he say what he did for a living no i had no idea that he was a representative in the illinois house i had no idea he was in politics i just knew that he was supposedly married and at the time was going through some some issues with the marriage he said that? That was made clear, yeah. Huh. Um, did he say what kind of issues? No. Nope. remember? No. So you said, I'm looking for someone to wake up. He knows you're referring to cocaine. I know where to get it. 
what happens next? We get back in the limo. The driver takes us wherever it is that Barack had instructed him to take us. I had given Barack $250 to pay for Cook. He gets out, comes back. Um, I start putting a line on a CD tray uh, to snort. Uh, you, and you're, you're in, in the, the limo. limo? Yep. Driving or parked? No, the driver's driving. Yep. I start to put a line on a, on a CD tray, and I just happen to notice that he pulls something else out of his pocket. And next thing I know, he's got a little pipe and he's smoking. So. Ah, of course, the black man's doing crack and you're doing cocaine. See, here's the thing. Now that I'm rewatching this, I'm leading towards not believing him, only because the story's not making sense. You and your driver was scouting the area, looking for men. Uh, you was tired, and you just so happened to come across Barack Obama. Now, number one, if you're tired, why not just go home? It seems scripted in a way where I was tired, I need something to wake up, I wanted cocaine, I, know I wanted something to wake me up, and I found Obama, he provided me cocaine, and we ended up in the back of a limo with him doing crack and I'm doing cocaine. What are we talking about? But this adds context to what I'm about to say next, so I have to watch this. I mean, some people smoke, some people snort. Smoking the cocaine. Yes. So as I'm doing a line, I just start, this is the part where you, you know, you kind of make your move to, to see where things are going. So I just started rubbing my hand along this thigh to see where it was going. And it went the direction I had intended it to go. Um, so the night became somewhat active sexually and drug wise in the limo. Um, so you hit on him. Did he seem shocked by that? Not at all. That limo must have stink afterwards. I mean, if you're smoking crack with a stranger in the back of a limo, like, you got to imagine things are going go crazy places. Well, not only imagine it, I look at it this way. I, look, I've done a lot of crazy things in my lifetime. I'm a pretty good judge of character, and I pretty much know whether or not I can move in a certain direction with an individual. I didn't feel that I was going in the wrong direction. I just wasn't so sure how much I could trust the individual right. at, at first. Um, and that was probably one of my bigger concerns. But the fact that I was already becoming somewhat buzzed, eh, you kind of throw caution to the wind. Yeah, whatever, bro. Now, a lot of people don't believe his story because he's a convicted felon. That's not what I'm going to judge him based off of. I believe you can be a convicted felon and tell the truth at the same time. But this story to me, if I had to give an opinion, I would say it's completely made up. But I am not 100% sure. If I had to give like a percentage, I'll probably say like 60. 60% 60 because this happens in the 80s. That was like the drug era in the US. That was like the era where everybody was hooking up with each other. That's the era where a lot of gays was coming out. So 40% out of 100, I believe that story 60%. Now, him telling that story is not why I think Obama's gay. Here's why I think Obama is gay. I think he's gay when there was a letter he sent to his ex-girlfriend that was leaked. And within that letter, in one of the lines, it says, I make love to men daily in my imagination. When some people heard that, they said, well, he was 21. Kids that's 21 don't be thinking straight. He was young at that time. He was reckless. It doesn't matter if he was. Look, I'm 24 years old. I've never thought about having sex with men daily. I've never thought about having sex with any man. And I'm 24. And three years ago, I was not thinking about fucking men. When I was in high school, I was not thinking about fucking men. When I was in middle school, I was not thinking about fucking men. I was straight throughout. So when I read that, that raised an eyebrow. It raised an eyebrow because no straight man watching this has ever thought about fucking a man daily. No straight man would write a letter to someone else and say, I've thought about having sex with men daily. No straight man in a history of history would write that. So Dave, what are you trying to say? So what if he's gay? Let's go to the Republican sides for a minute. So what if he's gay? Who cares? It matters. It matters tremendously. It matters because the government used black people as a catalyst to put a gay man in office to get their votes. They used the black vote for Barack Obama to legalize gay marriage. Now, I'm not saying gays shouldn't get married. Don't get my words mixed up. That's not what I'm saying at all. I know one of y'all going to comment that. Oh, Dave hate gays. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about the exploitation of my people to bring a gay president in office. That's my argument. Because they know when they were bringing Barack Obama into office, 
if there were any type of conversation that was publicized about him being gay, or even if he came out and says, hey, guys, by the way, I'm gay. He could have been black with a do-rag. Black people would not vote him in. This letter that was leaked that proved that Obama is gay is a huge concern because the government found a way to use black people again to push an agenda. And it makes sense because a lot of black people is complaining, yo, this man ain't do shit for us. This man ain't do shit for us. Yeah, it makes sense because he wasn't running for us. It makes perfect sense. But I think I've said enough in this video to get demonetized. So yeah, I got nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. I'm out. YouTube, please don't ban me. I'm out. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe and get me there. Thank you.